everybody, it's Hayley here from Cassie's Workshop and uh, we are at it again with our revamp series. So today we are going to be revamping this uh, beautiful entrance table and uh, I'll be talking through the different products that we're going to be using and uh, give you a step-by-step -step on how we actually get it done. Okay, so we're about to apply the transfer to the, the drawer front. I wanted to quickly just take you through this um, product. So this is the um, adhesive transfer by uh, Redesign uh, with the theme, the Rustic C. And um, there's there are quite a few elements to this, which is quite fun. So it comes in two large pieces. Um, for this exercise, you can see here, it's a smaller piece. I've literally just trimmed down or trimmed to the piece that I'm going to use. It's just easier to work with. So if you look on the back here, you can see that there's a couple of shells, some hessian, uh, a damask, design and then some writing. So the uh, the two designs are in two pieces um, and we'll just be working with the one piece. So I've trimmed down. I've also measured up to see where um, where the middle is. So it should be simpler to line up with the center of the drawer. So my piece itself is a little bit wider than the drawer front which is over here. So um, you've just got to be conscious of that and uh, just lining up to the middle. So You're going to take or pull the bottom off just a word of warning once you've applied there is no turning back okay so you really do have to know where you're going and um, All right, so each tube comes with an applicator. It's a little wooden stick, and this is used to apply uh, the adhesive. So you'll see how the color changes when you start rubbing on. What's quite handy to see is, is if you roll this back, you can see where, um, where the the transfer hasn't quite stuck down and that of course just gives you an opportunity to go over it again either with your finger or your applicator and um, and reapply it all right so we're now going to be applying and um, we're just going to be working such once you have stuck the foil on, okay, it sticks. So um, you need to be quite careful about applying and uh, just making sure that you're getting on into the, the right spots. Okay, so at this point I use a combination of um, the applicator and the good old finger again. Um, you can apply quite gently with the applicator. You'll lift off and see how the um, the foil attaches itself. So here you can see I'm rubbing fairly gently just to get the foil to attach. I'm going to roll off from this side and you can just get an idea about what it's going to look like. Okay, so here we go on this side you can see how the foil is attaching itself to the glue. Okay, so if you feel that you'd still need a little bit more foil, simply enough, you just roll your foil back and apply. If you go too hard with your applicator, it will stick on the paint. So be cognizant of that and um, rather do it in small stages, lifting off and seeing which areas uh, need more foil and off you go. So we have got the most of the foil on. What you are able to do at this point is um, reapply in the areas that you feel haven't uh, taken well enough 
and uh, literally just rub it on again. And you'll see how the foil takes when you look at it again and you can see that there's holes. So that's cool. I find at this point that um, using my thumb works quite well. Just so that we can focus on the specific areas that need more foil. Okay, so our next step is to apply this uh, sort of never ending storing part of the adhesive onto the slip at the base. So, in order to make this more manageable, uh, we've cut it into three pieces, and those three pieces will then be applied individually to uh, to to the backsplash. Okay, so we have applied the previously used rub-ons to the adhesive, and we're now going to move on to um, a solid piece that we haven't used before. That is a slightly different shade. So um, we'll continue, and this should uh, should fill in the gaps that aren't already filled. Um, that weren't filled up before. So we'll continue to do this and um, as I mentioned before sometimes it's easier just working in very small sections and using your hands to kind of move over the areas that you're wishing the foil to adhere to. nice is that it's very really, uh, it's really easy to see where um, the gluey bits are still open that haven't been filled with foil The liquid metal has now dried and we are at the stage we'll be adding the black magic. So we're working with a, um, a fine artist's brush and the lid of the black magic. We're working with very small amounts of paint and working into the, the crevices and corners of the, of the piece. So once that's taken a little bit, I'll then add on a second layer, again really working into the, the corners of the piece. You'll notice that the black magic dries quite quickly. Um, so by rubbing off a little bit toward the end, you, are, you allow the metal underneath to show through. <laughs> 